Before watching this video, please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming classes. In this session, I want to explain the simple problems on the design of journal bearing. Here the problem, a journal bearing diameter 60 mm and length 110 mm is subjected to a bearing load of 8 kN. The speed of the journal is 850 rpm and the coefficient of friction is 0.004. The temperature of the lubricating oil is 85 degrees C and the room temperature is 35 degrees C. Find the amount of artificial cooling required as the heat dissipated of the heat as the heat dissipated and assume the coefficient coefficient heat dissipated coefficient is 0 0.00167 kilojoules per minute per centimeter square per degree C. Here the data given data given is a diameter of the bearing is 160 mm that is 0 0.006 meters so length of the bearing is 1 110 meter that is 110 mm it is 0 0.11 meter so uh, the subjected to a bearing load that is the load load on the journal bearing is 8 kilo newtons that is converted into newtons 18 to 10 cube newtons and the speed speed at which the journal is rotating that is n is equal to 850 rpm and coefficient of friction is 0 0.004 and the temperature of the lubricating oil temperature of the here the temperature of the lubricating oil is given as 85 degrees and uh, atmospheric temperature is uh, 35 degrees here the coefficient of uh, uh, coefficient of specific heat uh, is equal to point not not here you should observe the units that is kilojoules per minute per centimeter square here the centimeter square and for degree c so you need not convert the a degree C into so it is it is sufficient to maintain the temperatures in degree C only. So formula for the journal bearing, the formula for, for the frictional torque in the journal bearing is T is equal to mu W R. Uh, for uh, for the thrust bearing, it is two by third mu W capital R cube minus small R cube. So like that by smaller cube minus small. Here for the journal bearing it is T is equal to frictional torque is equal to mu W. This mu is the coefficient of friction, W is the load and R is the radius of the journal. So here everything as the mu is given, W also given and R is also given. So you can simply calculate the and, uh, torque then that the uh, power uh, lost in the friction you also calculate you can also calculate that is 2 pi nt by 60 here uh, once the power is calculated the power lost in the friction here what he what the what it is asked that amount of artificial cooling required so amount of artificial cooling required so in order to find the amount of artificial cooling required you should uh, you should calculate the first of all you should calculate the what is the heat generated so what is the heat generated and uh, you used on that uh, how much heat is dissipated how much heat is generated during during the in the in the bearing and how much heat is dissipated from the bearings then the artificial cooling required can be calculated by the amount of heat generated minus amount of heat dissipated so in order to calculate the so power lost in the friction as the uh, in a, the torque is calculated and power loss of the friction is this is the power loss of the friction here is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 is equal to power lost in friction is equal to so all the power lost in the friction is converted into heat generated that's why power lost in the friction can be uh, retermed as a heat generated that is power is equal to heat generated so here here the, the formula is changed as uh, power is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 so you, when you submit the mu w r here mu w r here that is 2 pi and t is equal to mu into w into r so mu into w into r then the pi n mu that is mu w 
टू पै एन सो दि री रीअरेंजिंग दि फार्मला ऐस सो बोथ म्यू एंड डबल्यू मूव फ्रंट सैड दट म्यू एंड डबल्यू म्यू टू पै एन आर् दट इज टू पै एन आर् सो टू आर इज इक्वल टू टू आर इज इक्वल टू डी सो दट इज टू आर इज इक्वल टू डी दट इज पै एन टू आर इज इक्वल टू पै डी एन बै सिक्सटी सो दैन म्यू डबल्यू इन टू वि सो यू कैन डैरेक्टली क्यालक्युलेटेड दिस टी सपरेटली एंड and p separately but uh, the normal formula for power loss to the friction are heat generated is equal to mu w v so if you if you want to calculate only the torque due to the friction is equal to mu w r and uh, by using this mu w r you can calculate the power so uh, otherwise you can also calculate directly the power loss in the friction by using the mu w v so normal formula t t for t is equal to mu w r for power equal 2 pi n t by 60 if you are placing this t into the this formula is modified as mu w v that is so heat lost in the friction or heat generated in the bearing is equal to that is that is hg is equal to mu w v that is hg is equal to mu w v mu is equal to 0.004 w is given as a 8 kilo newtons 8000 so v we can be calculated by pi dn by 60 that is pi dn by 60 here uh, actually what we are going to use the pi dn by 60 that is 60 should be in that is meters per uh, second so as the velocity is is in meters per second here so all are given uh, all are in minutes so all are in minutes that's why the amount of artificial cooling required and the heat dissipated is also in minutes that's why so it, there is no need to place the 60 here that's why v is equal to pi dn only so if if you place the 60 here then you can also convert this value into minutes uh, lastly otherwise you can simply Uh, re- replace this 60 with uh, none that is pi d n that pi d into n that is 160.2 uh, meter um, meters per minute if you place the 60 here that is that is meters per second so as the already it is all, all are given in minutes that's why it is Uh, so 60 is not placed here that's why that is so mu w and v v is 160 meters per minute then the heat generated is uh, calculated in that is 5.27 joules per minute or 5.12 Uh, 127 kilo joules per minute. As the C value is given in kilo joules per minute, so now so it is essential to convert all these are in kilo joules per minute. Now here the amount of heat dissipated dissipated HD. That is amount of heat generated is HG. Amount of heat dissipated HD is equal to so uh, specific heat into area into Tb minus Ta. This is the normal formula. That is uh, S into A into sigma T. That is specific heat. The specific heat given in point not, given as a point not not one six seven kilojoules per minute. And this is so A is the area area. So area can area of the journal bearing is equal to L by D. Normally. in journal bearings l by d ratio is given but here both l and d is given here so by simply you can calculate area of the journal is equal to l into l into d so tb n minus ta here tb is the temperature of the bearing that in ta is the atmospheric temperature here temperature of the bearing is not given here then so tb minus ta is equivalent to the half of t not minus ta when our the journal of the temperature of the bearing is not given then you can use this relation that is tb minus ta is equal to half t not minus the t oil temperature minus atmospheric temperature to is the so uh, to is the uh, temperature of the and lubricating oil t is the temperature of the lubricating oil so that is then this formula is c is, c is uh, given in the data a, a can be calculated using the l into d 
and T B uh, and T A can be replaced as of T naught minus T A as the lubricating oil temperature is 85 degrees and uh, uh, atmospheric temperature is 35 degrees. You can calculate the amount of uh, heat dissipated is equal to C into A into of T naught minus T A. That is 85 minus uh, 35 of here heat dissipated. Here all uh, all the all the things are in so. Uh, minutes and cm square so another important point is here the so uh, this is this is given so c, c is given in ca is given in centimeter square then area must be in centimeters area must be in centimeters that's why you a a can be calculated as here that is l is equal to l is equal to 110 meter that is 111 centimeters and d is equal to 60 that is Point six centimeters. Sixty mm is equal sixty centimeters, and one ton mm is equal to eleven centimeters. So here area is equal to length is equal eleven centimeters into sixty centimeters. This is the area eleven into sixty. So area must be in centimeters as the specific heat given here is in minutes per centimeter square. So that's why. Uh, amount of heat dissipated is equal to C. C is the um, specific heat. A is the A is the area in centimeters. That is T naught and T A is replaced with lubricating temp lubricating oil temperature minus room temperature into off. So then you can you can calculate the heat dissipated. That is H D. So this is the heat generated is 5.1127 kilojoules per minute. And heat dissipated is 2.78 kilojoules per minute. Then the artificial cooling required is equal to H G minus H D. The remaining, so the remaining heat must be provided with the artificial cooling. That is 5.127 minus 2.7887 is equal to 2.338 kilojoules per minute must be removed by using artificial cooling. Here another. This is the another problem related to the journal bearing. Find the rubbing velocity, bearing pressure, coefficient of friction, and loss of power due to the journal bearing. Uh, supporting 10 kilo newtons load on 125 mm diameter, shaft rotating at 1300 rpm. The bearing of the length 1.5 times the shaft diameter. The diameter clearance is 0.15. mm and the lubricating oil absolute viscosity 0.01 kg meter second and the k is equal to 0.002 so so here so the data given is the load as a 10 kilo newtons that is 10 kilo newtons so that is 10 into 10 to the power of 10 10 cube and newtons and the diameter is 125 And the speed is 1300, and the L is equal to 1.5 d. That is the 1.5 d. The bearing of the length is 1.5 times the shaft diameter. That is L is equal to 1.5 d. That is 1.5 into 125. That is 187.5 mm. Diameter clearance. Here the diameter clearance 0.15 mm is equal to C. Diameter clearance is termed as a C. And viscosity. The viscosity, lubricating oil viscosity, that is Z. 0.01 meter kg per meters meter second. Here the viscosity must be in newton seconds per minute. As it is as here it is given as so kg per meter second. But we should convert this into newton second per mm square. So here kg meters per second. You should do. Convert this newton second per mm. That is so by multiplying here newtons. That is one kg. One kg per meters is equal to so here that is the one thousand is one thousand centipoise. So here the conversions. So one new one kg per meters per second is converted here here. So z z units for z is equal to newton seconds per mm square. Whenever the whenever the whenever the viscosity is given in kg per meter second, one kg per meter second is equal to thousand centipoise. Thousand centipoise. One centipoise is equal to ten to the power of minus nine newton second per mm square. Here 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 z is given in. Kg meters per second. One kg meters per second is equal to thousand centipoise. 
thousand centipoise thousand centipoise is one centipoise is equal to 10 to the power of 9 here is the conversion so one kg meters per second is equal to thousand centipoises one centipoise is equal to 10 to the power of minus then i put here point not one into thousand as a centipoise one centipoise is equal to 10 to the power of minus 9 newton second per mn square then it is and then it is 10 to the power uh, 10 into 10 to the power of as point not 1 into 1000 is equal to 10 into 10 to the power of minus 9 newton second part. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming classes.